Hello, this is Mike Mahon. I'm the inventor of the Pastel Porter. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to set up the Pastel Porter from scratch. And then we'll have another video showing you how to pack up the Pastel Porter properly. And then we'll have a series of videos that will show you in detail, close up, every function and every aspect of the Pastel Porter that you need to know to use it properly. The Pastel Porter is normally handled with just simply an easel or tripod and a carrying case with the Pastel Porter enclosed. When you find your location for painting, of course, the first thing you will do is set up your tripod. This tripod is very unique. It sets up basically like any other camera tripod, but it's not only a tripod, but it's also an easel. And one of the nicest features of this particular tripod slash easel is that it only weighs about three pounds or so. It, it quickly and easily sets up. And you simply set it up with the feet that hold the base of the uh, pastel porter board it, uh, towards the front. And then you raise the center column that will hold up the top of the board. It, it goes up and you can lock it down. Then you take your pastel porter case and I like to uh, have a rock or a bench or something nearby that I can set it on to open, open it up. But you can also set it on the ground. But it's a little easier to do it uh, where you're standing upright. I normally paint uh, with the, uh, a stool sitting. So I normally use my stool. Just set the uh, carrier on it and then zip down both sides of the case about two-thirds of the way down and then you can just reach in and lift out the board in the pastel box once you have it out like this resting on a, some kind of support then you just turn it up vertically and open it up it has two stabilizers, one at the top. You just slide over and tighten the knobs that lock it down. And it doesn't require extreme uh, tension to lock it down, just a firm turn of the knobs. And once that's locked down, you're ready to carry the pastel porter around with this built-in handle so that you can move quickly to another location if you want to. But once you have it open and ready to go, you just simply set it up on your easel on the feet that are uh, at the uh, base of the, the front two legs of the easel. And then at the top, you can just pull the top ball joint over to lock the top portion of the board to the easel. There's also a secondary way to attach the top and that is where you actually not just clip it over but you can actually make it even more sturdy by screwing it into a special insert that allows you to uh, screw in the board to the quarter inch stud that's at the top of the easel. It is extremely important that you attach the board to the top of the easel immediately after setting the bottom of the board on the easel. Now I recommend that whenever you're using the pastel porter, even if, uh, if it's in a, a very calm situation, that you take along with you some kind of bag that you can put some river rocks or dirt or even uh, several bottles of water just to give it a little bit of weight and you can just hang it at the bottom of your pastel easel and that gives it even more of a firm stand where even in a good wind it's going to stay steady. Now once you have it set up and you're ready to get painting you simply open up the box. There are two latches. You fold down the lid and the lid becomes a tabletop. You lock that down, it holds that at about a 90 degree angle, and then you can work with your pastels 
taking your pastels if you like and laying them down on your surface tabletop or as I like to do is as I use them I just replace them halfway and that way I know which pastels I'm working with but once you have that set up you're ready to paint now if you're in uh, a situation that's a little tighter and there's not as much room or if you like to work closer to your canvas then you can also lower the lid and take out an ex auxiliary pastel tray that fits here in the lid and you simply take it slide it into the lid at the base of your pastels and that way you have a a tray to catch your pastels or pastel dust uh, when you drop them or if you just want to lay them out to work with and that's basically how you get the pastel porter set up to go now if you want to add paper or take paper off that you're working on it has built-in spring clamps you simply push in lift the paper push in lift the paper out and it goes back in the same way I normally like to put two or three or four sheets of paper in here at a time and then uh, they s form a support underneath each sheet to give a smoother surface to work on as well as I, as soon as I finish one painting I can take it off and put it at the back of the stack and start another one. In the next video we'll show you how to break this down and how to properly pack it in the carrying case. <laughs>